So I picked out several cool filaments that I thought you might like to check out from my studio. Some have really cool colors, others have cool compositions, and some even have cool colors and compositions. So we're gonna check those filaments out and I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I printed, nothing too crazy, just enough to show you what the filament looks like. Oh, and before I blow your mind with some of these filaments, let me tell you about the giveaway that we're doing. This time it's for an Algo Laser Pixie. The all new Pixie came out maybe a month or so ago and we had it, we reviewed it on the channel in a short video. It's a very cool compact laser that can handle simple engraving and you can even use a rotary tool with it. So don't let the size fool you. This thing can do some stuff, but you won't be cutting through metal or anything like that. But for the size and the price of this thing, it's actually pretty dang good. So from now on to join our giveaways, we're actually holding them in our Discord server. So you'll simply need to go to the description of this video, join the Discord server, it's free to join, and then go to the giveaway section and any giveaway that we're doing will be there. You can enter the giveaway right there and you can also check up on who won, any future giveaways, announcements, stuff like that. And if there's no giveaways going on, then you can just hang out and chat with other 3D printing fanatics like yourself. Oh, and we're also gonna throw in this stuff from no clogger so no clogger sent us this clog tool right here now we haven't had a chance to try this out because we haven't had any clogs but they also sent us out this glue right here and we're going to include this stuff in the giveaway so you can check it out just like we did so as for the tool it's a 3d printed handle with a clog rod right here with the sharp tip so be careful and it does come with a 3d printed cover and the glue, it's pretty much a CA super glue style glue. And I can tell you that we tried it out and yeah, it works. All right, enough of all that. Let's get to the filaments. It's only right that we start this out with Morphex and that's our brand new filament that we're coming out with. It's a 90A shore hardness to start off with, but once you print it, it morphs into a 75A shore hardness making this an extremely soft end result, but an easy to print with TPU filament. So now you'll be able to print those soft wearables that you always wanted to print and not have to worry about clogs and print failures. So we'll be launching this on our website, stayreadyto3dprint.com, and we'll keep you posted as soon as it's available. As of right now, we're looking at about another month or so. First up is Ice and Mate. This is a dual color PLA matte, and with this filament, the cool thing you get is a transition from one color to the next. As you can see, we go from this really beautiful purple here and if you look it'll transition into a blue on the other side so isomate is not a new company even if you haven't heard of them they actually make filaments for companies such as creality and they even make the filament making machines and sell them to companies who actually make filament so this is their tricolor matte PLA and the only difference between this and the other one is this has three transitions versus two so they also make all kinds of different color carbon fiber filaments in PLA and PETG and this is their red carbon fiber and PLA and as always carbon fiber comes out absolutely beautiful. Take a look at this quality on this little part right here. So next up we have Bamboo Lab and this is their CMYK bundle and I printed this Trax NYC with it and it does color lithophanes with these four colors. Now they also have this PLA glow right here, that's the pink color, and the PLA metal right here in this bronze color is what I printed the frame with. Now of course all this was printed on the X1C that Bamboo sent out to us, but take a look at the quality on this. It does have to do with the printer, but also it has to do with the filament as well. And this is just quality filament. So if you wanted to print a cool color lithophane like this one, you just order the CMYK bundle and you're good to go. But if you're looking for strength, then this PPACF from Bamboo Lab is absolutely strong. Now I printed this little box cutter knife and it broke with ease because, oh, uh, look at it. I mean, it's very, very, very thin in places. Okay, okay, I was being a tightwad and I didn't want to spend a bunch of filament. This stuff is 150 bucks a roll. So I went ahead and printed this gimbal belt holder and yeah, that stuff is hard. Now if you want something that glows in the dark, this PLA glow is a good choice. But just being honest, like any other glow filament, the glow feature just isn't that remarkable if you ask me. But what is remarkable is this metal infused HTPLA from Protopasta. We have here bronze, copper, iron field, and copper field. Now these are infused with real metals and they will react respectively like the metal that they are. So bronze, you can polish it up similar to bronze and the iron, well, 
it'll rush just like iron will. Now it prints just like it looks on the roll, but it does take quite a bit of elbow grease to get things to look like this. So the iron had to have been the easiest. All I literally did to get this rust look was spray it with a little salt and vinegar and let it sit for a little bit, and that was it. So which one do you think took the longest? Yeah, you got it. It was the brass knuckles, and they look like this initially, this top roll right here, but then after a whole bunch of elbow grease, some sanding, some buffing, they actually come out with a really nice brass sheen and they look pretty good. Now this gray one here is the iron field and to show you that it has a ton of iron infused in it, I got a strong magnet and it definitely has iron in it and enough to make it very magnetic. Now all of these require sanding and buffing to get the smooth look, but in order to get the patina or the rust, I mean you simply add hydrogen peroxide and wrap it in a napkin and just let it sit. Next up we have Amelin and they're known for their wide variety of colors in various different filaments. And shout out to Entropy Valley, our subscriber who recently won the Amelin 8th anniversary filament pack. So this is their translucent rainbow TPU and it's definitely a unique look but comment if you would wear these shoes. Now these were done with the tricolor silk series that you see on the table and as you can see it does color changes pretty quickly so even small models would look good with this filament. So this dual color from their silk series has a really cool transition and they have a ton of colors to choose from. Way too many for us to put in this video. So this is G-Tech filament and what you're seeing here is a mixture of their Pet G metal lineup and this Labubu was printed in the pink metal Pet G. If you didn't know any better it almost looks like a PLA silk but no it's Pet G. Now this is a PLA silk and this is a dual color and it transitions from like a light green to a darker green. And this is a gold PLA silk and if you print it on a textured bed as you can see on the back side it'll come out a dull color but if you print on the smooth bed it'll come out shiny on both sides. Now this is a Pet G metal gold color but to me it looks more like a bronze or a brown. Now this one's really cool if you like glow in the dark stuff. This is a multicolor glow in the dark. And let me show you what I mean by multicolor. So one of these lights is just a regular flashlight and the other one is a UV light. You can already see a color difference in the prints. Now if I remove the light then you can really see that the one on the left is kind of a pinkish purple. The one on the right is more of a yellow green. The cool thing is you can swap these lights around and it'll do the exact same thing on the other print. So I swapped the lights and as you can see the colors have reversed. Pretty cool huh? So there's no doubt that Cookie Cat is known for having its lavish colors. So this blue purple color is called Witchcraft PLA and then the pinkish color believe it or not is called Lavender Elixir. And this one's called Solar Flare and they all have that glittery sheen to them. Now you can print them with a holographic P-flat sheet like I did and give it that holographic look. But that has nothing to do with the filament, that's all on the print bed. Oh and the silver color, that's actually from Prusa, it's a galaxy silver. But with cool filaments like this you can get creative like I did here and I actually used Bamboo Glow and put it inside of this Cookie Cat Elixir to make a cool earring. And yeah, I got carried away with the earrings, but I'm doing them for a popular YouTuber and I wonder if this earring gives it away of who it is. Comment if you think you know. Also, if you've made it this far, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoy these type of videos. And last but not least is Prusament. Now, Prusa has very high quality filament and this is their Galaxy lineup. Now, they do have more colors than this. This is just what I have. The Galaxy lineup has a sparkly sheen to it, while it's not overly sparkly, if that makes sense. And this other filament here on the end is from Buddy 3D, and it's a PLA sandstone marble. It gives you that really authentic rock look. And no, your eyes aren't bugging. It's not white. It is actually a cream sandstone color. But they do have a traditional marble color that's more of the white and black speckle as well. Now take a look at this purple galaxy right here. And actually, look at the quality. I mean, you can read every single letter on this. And this was printed on the Prusa Core 1 that Prusa sent to us, and a lot of it does have to do with the printer but also to print a good quality print it does require quality filament and this is quality and one thing i really like about their galaxy filaments is it doesn't have too much of the glitter it's very subtle and easy on the eyes well that's all i've got for you for this video make sure you go subscribe so i can continue to do videos like this for you and join the giveaway and as always stay ready to 3d print we'll see you in the next one